Hey everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back with a quick and easy tutorial and I'm going to show you guys how you can keep your fresh cut flowers looking fresh longer, so stay tuned for some easy tips. So the first step is to gather all of your supplies. I have some fresh flowers in a container of water. I have a container I'm going to use as a vase and I washed the vase out completely um, with soap and water and then I refilled it with some lukewarm water and lukewarm water tends to work the best. I also have a non-serrated knife and a plastic bag and that's basically what you'll need to get started. So the key to preventing spoilage is to make sure that you're working with a clean container, you want to make sure that you wash it out with soap and water. You can also use a little bit of bleach and just wash it and rinse it thoroughly. Uh, once you have it rinsed, you're going to fill it with lukewarm water and then you're going to take your flower stems and for this one, what you'll do is approximately measure how tall it is in comparison to the vase. This is pretty close in height to where I want it to sit. But you'll notice that there are leaves along the bottom portion that would um, sit inside. So any point that's going to touch the water, you're going to want to remove the leaves for. So for this one, I'm actually going to remove this whole section of leaves and take those right off because you don't want anything that touches the water. If you do work with roses, you don't want to remove the thorns because that can actually um, kill the life of the plant. So once you have it set to approximately the right size there, you're going to take your non-serrated knife. And the key to this is when you cut it, you are going to want to cut it at an angle. And the reason for this is it gives the plant more surface area to pick up water. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it at an angle. And as you can see, there's more surface area for the water to get picked up along the stem. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and place this one in here. And this one still has the buds and they haven't opened completely, so I don't have to do anything to this yet, but I will show you what to do when you have um, buds that are already opened. There is some maintenance that you want to do. And I'm just going to continue the process. So for this one, I'm going to remove the leaves that are below the water section here. And for this next step, when you have petals that have already opened up here, you notice that the stamens, which are these long stalk-like portions of the flower, have these um, little areas of pollen on them. And especially if you're doing anything with lilies, lilies tend to have ones that stain. So you don't want these to drop off and fall on your table and stain anything. So what I recommend is taking a plastic bag and just pulling them off with the plastic bag. And this is what it looks like after, and as you can see, if you leave it, um, they will start leaving residue behind of the pollen on the flower, and it can get really messy, so it's a good idea to keep that um, removed as soon as you can. So here's a couple other tips to keep in mind so that your flowers stay fresh longer. The first one is, if you purchase them from a store and they come with a little packet, definitely use the packet. The packet comes with a glucose solution, as well as an acidity balancer, so it keeps bacteria at bay and I would definitely recommend using that first. If you don't have access to that, change out the water every day. The bacteria buildup in the water is usually what kills the flowers the quickest, so just change out the water and it will last you a lot longer. And some people also report using a few drops of bleach or also um, a penny and an aspirin in four cups of water is usually enough to help it um, stay fresh longer as well. So I hope these tips helped you guys to keep your cut flowers looking fresh longer. And if you guys have any questions about floral arranging or how to take care of flowers, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to help you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial. And if you liked it, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye.